Yep, we are really about to do this. I don't want to do this at all, but I think that means I really got to do it. It has been a while and this is actually everything that I'm going to declutter. Um, there's also like some random plastic bits. Sorry, it's super bright. I emptied out this plastic and I was able to consolidate everything into this drawer. I don't know if this is going to be where I keep gift wrapping stuff forever. There's even stuff in here that I probably will end up decluttering at a later date, but for now I feel very comfortable with this amount. It's got ribbon, wrapping paper, there's tissue under here, there are a couple of bows. I threw out the majority of these bows because they were previous wrappings, but also um, I have no intention on replenishing any items in here. I tend to repurpose wrapping paper for the most part or just use bags that I also repurpose. And then in here I use these little clips. It was just a clever way to keep the ribbons organized and that way they just never unfold. So that's just much easier and if I find I don't end up using some of them, I will eventually declutter them. Oh my god. Okay, look, this is what happens when you don't store alike things together. I thought that was a box of power cords and just wires going to things. I think it even had a label because that's what it was before. And it turns out it was actually stationary, it's basically Christmas cards, but it just really doesn't belong in the laundry closet. In the section up here, I know, listen, I started on this and then I started to see things here and realized like there's a whole mishmash of stuff. Uh, oh my God, there's just so much random stuff. There are a bunch of stain removers. I've got this for dishwashers. I haven't had a dishwasher in all of my life. Stain remover, another stain remover. I don't have a tendency to reach for a 20 year old stain remover. I think I have no idea from when it, it is from. I've got this uh, fake Dollarama Febreze. I, I actually really don't like the way Febreze smells. So I'm just gonna let that go. I have other ways of freshening up, usually using vinegar. All of this hair dye stuff. Um, I don't dye my hair, so I'm gonna let these go. Although I will keep this bottle because this seems like it might be practical for something else and it looks like it's never been used. Of the hair dye supplies, this is all I'm keeping. So just for men and Bijen and a couple of empty unused bottles. Aha! I found the one that had all the cords and you know what? There's only one new cord in here. Everything else is old, a light fixture. I don't even know what this was for. I'm good. This is all gonna go because if I really need another wire like this, I'll go out and buy one. These are probably too old anyway. I can tell this is probably an old box that my mom used while she was in hairdressing. I think I'm gonna put the hair stuff in here. This is just a mixed bag of stuff here. Going through my locks, a couple I don't have. Oh my gosh, this is actually from high school. That was the one I used for my locker. Spare keychain things. I'm just gonna keep that in this box, that's good enough for me. So these things that I found are getting decluttered. I'm kind of just tossing things in here for now. I know it's a really nice decorative box and I kind of feel bad that I'm just putting it in the laundry, but I mean, it's serving its purpose. So in this giant box was a bunch of products for shoes and I will keep some of them, but I think the majority of the aerosol cans have got to go. I think I'm just going to keep this bunch right here and then all of this is going to get thrown out. Mom had bought shoe liners that she never ended up using. I'm really weird about things in my shoes. I don't like it unless it fits my shoe perfectly, so I'm just getting rid of it. Here's what I'm going to declutter and this is what I'll be keeping and it fits perfectly in this tin that I'm repurposing. This used to be a box of cookies. Now you know. So the reason I wanted to get it all into that tin instead of that huge blue thing there is that I've got a box of sewing supplies. Funny story, that used to be where I kept my makeup collection. Not in this closet, but in that little plastic drawer kit. I'm gonna wanna look back at this and laugh at myself. This is my little makeup sec section thingy-mabob on my vanity. But I'm gonna put that here. 
Wow, would you look at that? It fit perfectly. And then I'm gonna put my clothespins in this container up here. So originally I was like, oh, I'm gonna put this right here in the corner. But the problem, actually I can still open it. It's not such a huge problem. The laundry detergent could go up here or garbage bags could go here. Here's how it's looking so far. I know, still a bit crazy. My laundry soap in the back there behind my cleaning vinegar, I actually use that. This laundry soap is on its way out very soon. There are a slew of products here that range from pest control to soaps and a few planty things, just rags that I can basically use. I threw out older ones in a previous session and only kept what fit in this basket folded. Shoe things, black garbage bags and the mop heads are in there and a little bit behind as well because there are six. On this side so far, spare toilet paper. In this box there's bar soap. There are some staining agents here. I'm not sure how long I will keep that for but I just have it here in case. There's also a blue one that's supposed to be good for blue jeans. And then we've got washing soda, fabric softener I don't use often. I don't think I'll refill the fabric softener when it's finished, but sometimes I just throw them in my dresser. I really like this. All the things I need for the glue gun. Locks and keychains. So there's not that many. And then at the very back are the Just For Men's to... Um, I mean, if I ever decide I want to start topping up my grays, at least those are there. And if I don't use them, I'll declutter them. Not the end of the world. Hair cutting supplies, electric heater that I use when I have my period, two extra rolls. I've got a lint remover and some latex or vinyl gloves because you just never know when you need those. It's handy to have those. And look at this. Like, I've got this cute little basket from Honduras. They sell these in more neutral colors right now for much more expensive. And I don't know why I'm using this like this. It would be so handy for buying small plants and little things. So um, yeah, that has no business being there. But look, I've just got power cords here. So maybe that's what's gonna go up there. Uh, not power cords, but extension cords. So these are the three shower curtains I'm gonna keep and I'm gonna let go of these two because I don't like the dark one and the other one, I don't really like the look of it. It's like this weird scratchy material, I don't like it. I forgot these. One is a hot water bottle, which I definitely use when I have my period if I bring it to bed and I've got to clean this lint thing. All better. All I did was take one of the cloths that I just threw out and rubbed it against the grain. I think I'm just gonna stick it like that because it tends to be something I reach for. All right, and then this, can I slip this in here? It's a bit tight, but at least I know where it is. Up here, I ended up putting jewelry cleaner, so the shower curtains, and now the wires are back in the Aldo box, just the way I thought they were. Oh my God. These were my prom shoes and shoes that I used to wear to school sometimes with my uniform. I don't know how I got away with it, but I did. And I always thought these shoes were from yellow, but they were from Aldo. And I would do anything to have them back now because they were so comfy. Up on top, I kept gift bags and I want to consolidate to one bag if possible and only keep what fits up there. But honestly, I don't feel like doing that right now. So I think I will just put them back up. I rearranged so that they can go into this corner right here. I took out what was in this large black container. It used to be something that we would just throw things in randomly and not actually pay attention to what was in here. I think I'm going to be using for extra soil when I do repottings and stuff. So I'm just gonna clear it out. Originally, it was a the bottom part of a shredder, but we got rid of the shredder, honestly. I just barely ever used it. I work in an office job. Since it's a financial industry, I just bring any papers that I need to get shredded and put it in the bins there. Excuse my mop. It just fell off of its hanger thingy and one of these doodads fell down. Ugh. Um, I forgot that I had this but I saw the poles. So this is actually for you to insert into a lower cabinet to make two levels, especially when it's a tall cabinet. For instance, under the sink where there's usually not a second shelf sometimes. I just, it just occurred to me, I could probably leave watered plants 
on this to drain out. I have the legs. I, I don't know, I could water the plants and then just have them drip outside or in the bathtub. I'm gonna be getting rid of these cans. These, these products are also getting decluttered. This whole bag of gift wrapping stuff is going. I think you guys have seen this before. It's my decluttering box that I always keep in my entrance. It's starting to get mighty full. Um, I should probably throw out those wires, but I need to find a place to let them go. And I usually just leave a bunch of reusable bags on top because I use reusable bags to separate things or just to donate things. It makes so much, it makes it so much easier than going through all of my plastic bags. This thing. Okay, so these are brackets. I don't know when I'm going to use them, but I think I want to hold on to them for a hot minute. I'm pretty sure I still have my mom's old camcorder, but I want to keep the instructions because I think this is something you might not be able to find online. I'm just going to keep them together. I think it's in my old electronics that's in the ottoman of my entrance. But this box, yeah, that can go. In case you didn't know it, JVC is the inventor of VHS. This is the result so far. Now, I did not clear everything, clearly, but I did organize the majority of this. And now when I open up the cabinets, I don't feel like the yoga mats are in the way. They used to be stuffed a long way this way, and I would always feel it when I would try to open up this cabinet. Plus the big plastic that was here with lots of things stuffed in it. No, a little soaking bowl. And I also use it for repotting sometimes. My laundry bag, a few products in this cleaning caddy. I showed you guys this before up there. And on this side, it looks a little chaotic, but it's not as bad as it was before. Oh, and I have this keyboard. I want to check if it's better than the one that I'm using now. I feel like it's not though. It feels really dirty. Like it needs a really good co I don't know. I don't... Mm, I don't think so. Excuse the sound of my vent which is blowing at full force for no freaking re Well, actually it's really hot outside. I, spoiler alert, went to Ikea to buy a couple of things. And I decided to upgrade my laundry basket situation because this one's old. Recycling is full because it's coming up. Laundry and cans that are to return to the grocery store. I actually lined this with one of those old thicker plastic bags because I hate it when it gets all sticky and whatever. Even if I rinse the cans still, you never know. If you found this video motivating to declutter, you should check out the one that's posted on the screen right now.